Hey everyone, it's YouTube Media. In this video today, I'm going to show you a couple of cool VBS codes that I've made um, that you can actually use as second login passwords for your computer. Now, VBS stands for Visual Basic Scripting. It's a programming code for Windows. So the first one I'm going to show you is this one right here. Basically, you put this file in your startup file. So when someone logs into your computer, it's going to bring up this password box and ask them for the password. And it, it shuts down explorer.exe, which is like your icons and desktops. No one can access your account until they type in the password. And if they get it wrong, it will let them into my account. But it will bring up this program called DoorGem. If you don't know what it is, I made a tutorial on it. It will bring it up, which turns on the webcam, your webcam. And it will take a picture of them and store it to your computer. So you can go back in your pictures and see who was on your computer. And then if you get the... Uh, password right. If you type in the right password, it'll just let them into your account. So I'm going to open up and show you what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, it shut down explore.exe, so my whole desktop and start menu and all my files are gone. And, okay, so here's the password box. Just so you know, if I press the exit, it counts that as a wrong password. If I press control alt delete it also counts that as a wrong password password, so you can't really get around it. Then you can change the text here, the text here, and what this says, and you can change the password too. So I made the password P-A-S-S, -S, so I'm going to show you what it looks like when I type in the right password. So I'm going to hit enter, welcome, okay, then it restarts explore.exe, and now I can get in my account. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like when I type in the wrong password. Okay, so I'm going to type in the wrong one. Hello. Enter. Wrong password, logging off. It's not actually logging me off. <laughs> I forgot about that, sorry. I need to change that message. You can change this uh, wrong password message, but it's not going to log me off. And then OK. So then it lets me into my account. But now what's going to happen is it's going to turn on my webcam here in a second. There we go. And it just took a picture and then stored it to my computer and then it closed the program. It does it really fast so the person doesn't know what just happened. So now we can go and see the picture of who was on your computer. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Here it is. Okay, so there is my hand in the way, but it's, as you can see, it opens the program and takes one quick picture and then closes the program. So you'll be able to know who was on your computer. Alright, so now the second one is this one. This one, it doesn't involve door jam or your webcam at all. All this is is the password box. I'm not gonna, well, here I can open it actually. Okay, so this one, um, and if you type in the wrong password, instead of letting the person in, it will automatically just log the person off immediately. So if you type in the wrong right password, it will let you in. But if you type in the wrong, it will just log you out. I'm not going to show you what it looks like when you type in the wrong one because it will log me out. But I'm just going to type in the right one. Welcome. Okay, and then it lets me in. Now, I'll show you what it looks like when you put this in your startup file when you log on. So just copy, paste, okay, and drag it to your startup file. This code, this code or file is in the video description. Okay, start up, and then just put it right there. So now that this password box will appear when I turn on my computer. Okay, so now I'm going to log out so you guys can see what it'll look like. Okay, do, 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 type in password. Okay, and see, it just brought up the password box. So, uh, that's basically what happens when you log in. It brings up this password box, and now I'm going to type in the password. Yes. Welcome. And now it lets me back into my account. By the way, to edit the password, you just go to the file, right-click on it, and click Edit. And then here's the password right here. You can change this to whatever you want, and you can also change this text right here. Please enter your password, the message box, and then the welcome message here, too. By the way, I apologize if I went kind of fast. I was a little rushed, but all the links to these codes are in the video description. And please subscribe if this video helped you at all. And uh, remember to check out the video description.